You know our next guest from Broad City and from Time Traveling Bong, which I think was based on a true story. His new movie alongside Scarlett Johansson, Kate McKinnon, and many other funny people is called Rough Night. N-M-L-K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A. Did you see that? A rough night is in theaters now. Please welcome Paul W. Downs. Paul, may I be so bold as to begin by saying sure. you have beautiful legs. I mean, oh. and, and two of them. Thank you so much. Yes, two legs, two working <laughs> legs. Thank you. Was uh, that all you doing the whole thing? Uh, the the alphabet backwards was me. That I was you. I learned the alphabet, yeah, but the handstand was a stunt double. Very oh, talented really? uh, stunt double. Did you examine multiple pairs of legs to find <laughs> a stunt double who would match as well as that one did? I think it was a countrywide search, yeah. It was pretty, <laughs> it's, it's hard to find an exact hamstring, you know? Like uh -huh. my, but uh, actually, the guy, um, while he had legs that looked a lot like mine, <laughs> when he showed up and got into the diaper, he had the most intense farmer's tan I had ever seen. He had, like, brown legs and then, like, ivory white legs. I see. So we were, and we were shooting at night, so it was, uh, we were, like, racing against the dark and before the sun came up. And the uh, makeup artist, Nuria, who was very talented, wasn't prepared for this, so she had to, like, run to the trailer and run back, and she was like, oh, why you do this to me? I'm not, <laughs> oh, why is happening to me? But she did a great job. She's either got to make, yeah, that part tan or your part white. Yeah, you know, one yeah. of those two things. Yeah. You're lucky it didn't go the other way. She made the right choice, yeah. You, now, you co-wrote this with your, your girlfriend. I did, yeah. And she directed the film, That's correct? Right, yeah. So did. Did you, at that time, did you mutually decide you would be in a diaper uh, for a lot of the movie? <laughs> um, it, was a, it was a democratic decision, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, um, it's kind of ripped from the headlines. You remember that story about the astronaut? Yes, sure, yeah. Who, like, wore a diaper to kidnap her lover's right. girlfriend or something? As one does. As one does, yeah. So yeah. We, we kind of stole that from, from real life. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be tickled pink that she inspired that. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> from wherever she is now. I think prison. And I don't know. Whose don't idea? Know. <laughs> don't, don't. So on one side of the coin, you've got yeah. yourself in diaper the whole time. On the other side, you've got you are Scarlett Johansson's fiance in the movie. That's right. Which I think evens it all out. Yeah, you know what? It's a good trade. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty solid yeah, trade I as far as they go. I can humiliate myself and then, uh, yeah, marry Scarlett. Because the movie's about a bachelorette party, which obviously the groom is not invited to, mm -hmm. you were separate from most of the women. Did you have a, a chance to bond with them appropriately? Oh, on... yeah. I mean, we I, as a writer on the movie, I was on set every day, and so... Oh, so we, in your other capacity. Yeah, yeah. And did we, you wear the diaper as the writer also? <laughs> you know, I did. Yeah, it was... Uh, it's hard to go all the way to the bathroom, you know, base camp. So, uh, no, but we, we were kind of in a house in the Hamptons after Labor Day, so it's kind of a ghost town. Okay. So uh, we all really bonded. We became really tight. Because we found this photograph, and it... Um, you know, you're just speaking about the bonding, and it seems like maybe... Huh. Maybe you weren't as close as you described. That... I don't know... Is that me? Yeah, it's you. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> I oh, mean, you know, you I know don't want to read into a still photograph, but the body language indicates well, a problem. You know what? I think I remember... Yes, they, if I recall, were talking about what rap gift to get me. Oh, you know, they, is that yeah. what it was? I heard Ducati. I don't know. I haven't gotten it yet. But, yeah, I think they were... Planning something. You the know? movie is obviously it's about a bachelorette party, so it's yeah. somewhat raunchy. Has your family seen the film? Yeah, my parents and my sister and my grandmother, who's ninety. Oh, really? Came your to grandma? The premiere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came to the premiere and everything. She did. Did she like it? She did. She did. Yeah, she loved the movie. I think there were some moments that were uh, a little racy for her, but luckily, you know, she missed some of it with the laughter in the crowd. Oh, because she heard from her hearing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that comes in handy sometimes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, is she the type that would give you a review of the movie? Or oh, she... yes. There's certain things that um, I've done before that she's not liked. And, and, and she lets me know. She lets you know? Yeah, very fair critic. She'll yeah, call you honest. and let you know? 
Um, no, it's usually in person. She reserves it for an in-person, you know, review. I see. Yeah, and yeah. then you'll get hit with it when you got yeah, there. Yeah, hard. Like, why did you do that? Why did you have to do that? But yeah. yeah. And but no, you... she loved this. this she loved really this fun. one. OK, yeah, well, that's yeah. good, yeah. I know there's a, and I don't want to ruin anything, but there's a, a extended cameo from Demi Moore and Ty Burrell, who's on Modern Family. Yeah. And they play swingers, which is kind of weird, because, you know, <laughs> Ty Burrell, in a way, we now think of him as an actual dad, because we see him on TV all yeah. the time. Did, did, now, um, in that situation, like, does Demi Moore know in advance that she's going to be, like, making out with one of the women in the film? Yeah, oh, that was a big part of the script, but she was very down. She, she was. was. Oh, so game, yeah. I mean, <laughs> she was, uh, you know, it was with her and Zoe Kravitz. Right. And so um, I think, yeah, she had a lot of fun. She actually, <laughs> she was so willing and game and cool that she was like, what if we, what if we dig a hole in the sand so I can get lower <laughs> and then I can move a leg up? I mean, she really uh, helped choreograph a lot of the. She did. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. She had a, a hole dug specifically for that. She's a professional. Have you, know? you uh, now, are you guys working on Broad City next season of, of that show yet? Yeah, we, uh, we just finished filming season four. I see. out in August. And yeah. I assume that means you are on the season of Broad City. I am. Yes. I am, yes. And are you uh, and Abby still, uh, you know, uh, an item on the show? Um, I don't know how much I can give away. Just tell us. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, can, I can hint. I can hint. <laughs> OK. We, this season, Abby and Trey have sexual intercourse. So oh, with, uh, with each other. With each, well, yeah, with each other. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Do you dig a hole, or is it just regular? <laughs> is it just a regular? Uh, <laughs> Next time, dig a hole. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's very good to have you here. Paul W. Downs, everybody. Rough night. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?